In this video, I will show you how to use a USB drive just like this one over here on your Hisense Smart TV so you can view and watch content like videos and images from your USB drive on your Hisense Smart TV. Now first things first, it is important to note that not all USB drive can actually work on your Hisense TV and for your USB drive to work, it has to be formatted at FAT32. Now while some USB drive are actually formatted at FAT32 by default, for some, you might actually have to do this yourself. Now the process is not so difficult, you can actually do it with your laptop, whether it's a MacBook or a Windows device. I'm going to show you how to do it in a second. Now to format your USB drive to MS-DOS FAT at 32, first thing you want to do is to go ahead and connect your USB drive to your laptop. In this case, I am using a MacBook over here, but you can do this on your Windows laptop as well. Now once it is connected, you want to go ahead and open up the Finder app, which is the equivalent of the File Explorer in the case of your Windows laptop. Now if you're using a Windows laptop, what you can just do is to go ahead and find your connected USB drive. In my case, this is it over here. And what you just want to do is to go ahead and right click on it and you're going to see the options to format the USB drive. Go ahead and select format and then choose the MS-DOS FAT at 32. In the case of a MacBook just like this one over here, what you want to do is to go over to the applications folder over here and then you just want to scroll down to where you have utilities. You can literally see it over here. Go ahead and expand it. And then scroll down to where you have disk utility you can literally see that over there now double click on it and now go ahead and select your usb drive which you can see over here now you can now format the usb drive by clicking on the erase button over here and now you want to go ahead and select ms dos fat at 32 so make sure that it is actually formatted at ms dos fat at 32. And finally, now that your USB drive has been formatted at FAT32, you can go ahead and load it up with images and videos and then you just want to go ahead and connect it to any of the USB ports on your Hisense Smart TV. Now if your Hisense TV just have one USB port, then go ahead and plug it to that USB port. But if yours has more than one USB port, you can go ahead and just connect it to any of the USB ports on your Hisense TV. Once the USB drive is connected to your Hisense Smart TV, you're going to see this notification at the top of the TV indicating that a drive has actually been connected to the TV. Now what you want to do is to come over to your Hisense Smart TV remote control. Here's my remote control. And then you just want to scroll downwards to this list of apps and then scroll to the left hand side. Now scroll down to where you have input and then go ahead and select it just like so. Now from here, you should see your USB drive that is being connected to your Hisense Smart TV. Now what you just want to do is to scroll down and then go ahead and select your USB drive just like so. And now you should be able to see all of the files and images or videos that is contained on your USB drive. Now you can see a movie over here that I actually sent to my USB drive and this is also an image that was sent to my USB drive as well. Now you can go ahead and flood your USB drive with as much images and videos and even music and start enjoying all of your content from the TV. But it is also important to note that not all files and images is actually supported and can be read by the Hisense Smart TV. But trust me, majority of the files and images that you might actually want to view will be supported by the TV. If you find this video useful, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one.